Hi, so I wanted to go through the whole collection of the peak insides. I thought I would start with the fairy tale stories. So um, the only one I don't have is the Little Red Riding Hood. This is Cinderella. It has really pretty illustrations, um, little flaps, little flaps. So this is a nice one. They also have a pop-up Cinderella. But it's really pretty. It's got some nice cutouts. And in the end, Cinderella gets what she deserves. There's also Jack and the Beanstalk. This one's really cool. It has um, a lot of cool cutouts. This is probably one of my favorite of the fairy tale peek insides. She's got a lot of cool illustrations and like cutouts and see throughs, the little flaps. And of course, Jack and the Beanstalk just has like a good moral. So that's that one. And then Snow White. And I like this Snow White because it doesn't do the Disney version um, where the prince kisses her. Um, instead, it's more of the original where the prince finds her and um, he basically sits her up and the apple falls out. So you can kind of see that at the end. So that's cool. And then this is the Beauty and the Beast one, which is also very um, visually beautiful as well. This is a flap. Pretty, pretty cutouts. Um, the kids really like these. They can kind of uh, look at the flaps and pull on the like cutouts. And so this is a nice, a nice one. And then there's Sleeping Beauty which, you know, Sleeping Beauty is always a nice um, visual story. The pop-up one is also really nice. It has a couple cool pages I really like. So this is really cool because you can see it's so, it has a quite bit of dimension to it. So there's that. And then The Princess and the Pea. Nice illustrations. I like that they made um, a lot of these characters diverse. That's one of the things I really like about the um, Osborne, the publisher. Um, and then The Little Mermaid. So this one's really cute. I like the mermaid's hair color. And the witch. And he finds her. This one doesn't quite have the morbid ending that the original Hans Christian Andersen tale does, um, but it's also not the Disney version. So, Okay, so then we have um, the, the rest of them, which there is a set, so I have the set as well, and I also gift them. So it's got the peak inside, and it includes the farm, the garden, dinosaurs, nighttime, animal homes, and the zoo. So the dinosaur one... If you know any dinosaur lovers you can also purchase this on its own it's got a lot of cute cute pages Rawr. Um, so this one's a nice one for little kids to enjoy some big flaps the board itself isn't too um, like destructible. It's pretty thick, so you don't have to worry about it too much. So that's the dinosaur one. This one doesn't come in the set, but it's a nice one to have on its own. It's about space, and it has some. Uh, the peek inside I really like. It has good information, but simplified for young readers. And it has you know the the holes, the cutouts. This is cute. You can like dress the little space person. Um, you can check it out. Oops. So that's the space one. And then the zoo is one of my favorites. It's got a lot of cute little animals, cute illustrations. I like that a lot of these books have little doors. So every page, I'm not opening every flap because it'll take quite a bit of time. But it's 
got some little cute ones. And then the forest one. This doesn't come in the set, but you can get it on its own. It's got cute little pictures all under the ground. <laughs> Bear eats. <laughs> That's a cute one. It's got the cutouts. So, oh, this one's a flap. And then it has a flap within a flap as well. Little hiding animal. So that's cute. The tree, kind of similar, but just within the tree. Lots of little flaps. Okay. And this one's in the set. This is the garden. So if you have any nature lovers, um, and you like to garden, this is a cute one for, for little kids. This is good for toddlers and um, older babies. My daughter's one and a half and she really enjoys these books. Uh, Nighttime is also in the set. It's pretty, it has, it's a good bedtime story. It has cute little tiny flaps. Uh, this is a bat. We all need a, to appreciate the bats a little bit more. And then big flaps, little flaps, grocery store, um, little tiny doors. Kids will have fun playing with that one. This is the jungle one, if you have any jungle lovers. Just going to flip through it pretty quick. The jungle one. One of my favorites is actually the airplane one. This doesn't come in the set. This is a good standalone book. I really like that it has um, quite a bit of information. And this is this one's probably my favorite page. It's got the little boy in the john and um, these little all these little doors open. And then here's the cockpit, and you can kind of see through. So. This one's really cool. So this is probably my one of my favorite peek insides. Uh, they also have the sea. Just flip through. Um, and then animal homes. And then also if you have anyone who loves farms and tractors, the farm is cute. You can kind of see what's in there. Uh, look these what's in the farm, it's milk in the cow, under the duck wing, uh, so there's that. And then this one's popular with um, uh, a lot of people like this one because of all the bugs. It's cool if you like ant homes and learning what lives in fruit, what eats your fruit, how spiders make their webs, the importance of honey, flapping within a flap. Well, this is a nice, good, creepy crawly. Anyway, thank you.